No one could truly understand the pain and hurt that six-year-old Arturo Godoy was experiencing behind this smile. And behind that smile was a little fighter. Arturo, for two years, was battling a disease and later began experiencing problems with his kidney. He got a celiac disease. Okay. Celiac, right? Celiac. It's something that goes through his blood and take out little um, scars and right but right now what it was um, so they told me right that was kidney that's why he's getting swell arturo became a little fighter two years ago when his health began deteriorating but he would not give up he wanted to be a normal little boy who went to a normal school i don't got no bad memories of him because he doesn't give me no trouble if I tell him he will sit down right here, he will sit down till I told him he will move from there. But daddy, you tell me to sit. I know if I tell him, but go do something else. And then he will stand up and he will go walk and go find something to do or grab his phone and go in his room, right? But my baby, if you go to La Maculada school, if you ask him, how was he? They will explain you this little boy never give a trouble. We did go to Lion Maculada Primary School where Arturo was an infant too before transferring to Louisiana Government School closer to his home. Arturo has been with us since he entered preschool. Just this September, his mom on, on September 7th, I believe, his mom was trying to find a way out to get Arturo to school but closer to home. And I think she chose to be now um, attending um, Louisiana Government School uh, um, so that the child could, could go from home to school at a very short distance. Arturo would come to school and he would participate in everything that the school did. In fact, you saw the last picture he had with our cultural day, he came as a mestizo. So whenever he came to school, he did what he possibly could as a child. And, and that is what I explained to some of my teachers. We gave to that child the childhood and the experiences he needed at the right time. Unfortunately, Arturo could not come to school every day because of his illness. And the sadness it brings that he has been battling for his survival from very young. And if it is COVID that he had, it just saddens us that this is what took his life when he was a fighter. And even in sickness, Arturo kept going, doing his homework, paper-based learning to keep up with his class. He recently placed second in a poem competition. Although he was sick, he got a video I know going on, right? When he say his poem, my baby talk, and he was swelling. He was well. Yes, my baby said his poem. My baby do his work. My baby, he feel all right. He feel good. You understand? So. I, I, that's why I can't imagine how this happened like that. But even now, the family challenges continue as they fight to lay Arturo to rest. They don't want to give us his body. They want us to pay $2,215 at um, Undertaker, something they call it Undertaker. He will just go find my baby and bring it. Because he said that the law, that nobody else could find my baby. Do you have the money to pay? I don't got no money for that. I'm not working two months. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.